what he got for £1.50. Who would win in a fight between Gandalf the Grey and and Sabretooth Tiger. The closest thing to crazy, crazy, crazy I've ever, I've been. ever known. Yeah. <laughs> I was never crazy when I was that on my own. Oh, that works. Yeah. Textbook. <laughs> Afternoon. I love a little unexpected video. Some of my favorite videos have been totally unplanned, off the cuff. They've just happened in the moment. Tony Goodman from EV Carnage Text me a couple of hours ago and said, I'm in Worcester this afternoon because I've got to move a car. Do you want to do a video? And I was like, yeah, obviously. But I, what I wanted to do was top trumps. So in my eBay basket right now and in my watch list is loads of retro car based top trumps games. But obviously I haven't got around to buying them yet. Um, however, on my way to the train station to pick Tony up, I've just been to a charity shop and I've bought an actual haul of stuff that is going to make for, I think, a funny video. So, Tony Goodman and Jeff Wise Cars playing a game of Charity Shop Bonanza. I've got to come up with a better name for when this goes out on telly. Um, but I reckon this is going to be funny. I reckon it would have been less funny as well or more funny, less funny if I'd gone to the correct train station, but I've gone to the wrong train station. And because they're pulling up all the roads in Worcester, it's now gonna take me about three days to get to the train station that Tony is actually at. But, nothing, I've got nothing else to add. <laughs> Let's go to the correct train station. It's pretty funny. I just drove into, uh, I didn't just drive into Porsche Tewkesbury, like a crash. Um, I just drove into the front end of Porsche Tewkesbury and my BMW scraped across the speed bump. But like, my BMW isn't even a low car. Like these Porsche Taycans, they're a lot lower than, um, they're a lot lower than my 3 Series. It's an undeniably good looking car, is the Porsche Taycan. It really is. There's quite a lot of them here. Wonder how many of them are in for uh, software problems. Right, I'll park up here and wait for Tony. Oh yeah, Tony's just picked up a Taycan uh, and has had to deliver it to Porsche Tewkesbury because that's what Tony does for a living. He's a, uh, a driver person, man. So he's bringing his Taycan, well it's not his Taycan in, he's bringing a Taycan in because the Taycan has, um, that's a huge speed bump. Listen. Oof. So my three series grounds out on the speed bump and they've got electric cars driving over that. <laughs> Have we got about seven minutes? Seven minutes, <laughs> right, we've got seven minutes. Seven minutes, seven minutes with Tony from EV Carnage. Tony, I've got a goodie bag, open it up. Right, we have to do this quicker than I was hoping. You bought an MTV cap? Yeah, I did well there. How did I have a secret weapon? That's all right, Hang on, I'll put it on, look. Yeah. Okay. 17 pound I spent in a charity shop. A right. Fiat Multipla. That's for you. That oh, is, oh, oh. That's a two grand car, that. But I tell you what though, three seats in the front. And I almost got a discount because the lady dropped it in the shop. But do you remember that shape multiplier? Yeah. Right? Three seats in the front, weird lights, where have they all gone? You can't buy them anymore. No, you can't see, you don't see them anywhere. Take that with you, all the way down to Cornwall. That's for you. Oh, the windows are down on it and everything. Look at that. So that's it, item number two from Jeff's, Jeff's goodie bag. We've already done the uh, the gardening one, but we'll, have to, we'll put that in some outtakes or something. Yes. The Nigel Mansell. <laughs> Williams. Yeah. Oh, look From at that. What that, year? Uh, that must be about 92, 3, something like that. Mm, I'll, I'll do Antiques Roadshow on it. No, let, let, let me see. Let me date you it. You value me. it. I mean, the price is on it. Williams FW14, £1.50. £1.50. Look at that. Yeah. Look what he got for £1.50. Also, that was back when Formula One was good. Yes. Tell you what I can recommend to people, the Michael Schumacher documentary that's on Netflix. Brilliant. you got to this, watch it. This car, where Nigel Mansell owned Bowwood Golf Club in Devon, was yeah. parked in his foyer. Was it? Yeah. No way. Yeah, true story. Didn't yeah. know that. So there we go, two for two. Another one for you there. 
You might have to get all the top trumps cards out and we'll have a very quick game. Assault, one assault rifle right. top, top trumps. I wanted to play top trumps with Tony, but I haven't had time yet to order any retro top trumps cards. So we'll have a quick game, right? Here's what we're going to do. Predators. Predators. Uh, that's not what I was thinking when no. I seen Predators. The other one is... Yeah, take it out. First, first card, Jimmy Savile. <laughs> the other one is Lord of the Rings. So I thought we could play a quick game of top trumps, right? Pass me these. These are Lord of the Rings. You grab a Predator card out, and I'll grab a Lord of the Rings card out, and then we'll just argue it out. Right. Got one. Yes. What you got? I got Gandalf the Grey. I got Saber Tooth Tiger. <laughs> uh, you am dead. I've got I've got a Resilience of nine, and I've got a Ferocity of fifty six. Yeah, well, see, I haven't got them, have I? Because I've got. I know, but what have you got? I've got the Strength of eight. Yeah. All right. But only the deadliness of two. Mm. How does that work? I think we're going to have to leave this one to the comments. Who would win in a fight between Gandalf the Grey and and Sabretooth Tiger? And I think we'll we'll do a special Top Trumps video at some point in the future. Oh, definitely. I, I think Top Trumps is definitely more fun if, A, you get really heated about it, and then, B, you combine different Oh, those packs. are the rest of your Lord of the Rings ones. Yeah, we'll have those for next time. What else is in your box? A Katie Melua CD. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you why. I've been making a lot of videos about Birmingham, and there's when I'm really drunk, I sometimes like to do uh, karaoke. And one of the things I like to do is the closest thing to crazy by Katie Melua. Because if you do it in a Brummie accent, then you end up going, well, this is the closest thing, thing to, to crazy, crazy I have ever, ever been. been. Yeah. I was never crazy when I was that on works. my own. Oh, that works. Yeah, my wife hates it. So that's yes. It Next. Chemical principles of environmental pollution. Textbook. <laughs> that might be useful for future videos. Well, it, dad jokes. Go for on. the same, same reason. Give us a oh, dad joke. Oh, all right. Funny enough, I've been listening to 40 Years of Jethro. Right. So, Denzel walked into a pub yeah. and ordered three triple brandies. And the barman lined them up and he downed them one after the other. And uh, the barman said, hell, that was quick, wasn't it? He said, you shouldn't do that if you got what I got. He said, why, what have you got? He said, 15p. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Drink more whiskey. There, there you go. go. Exactly. Oh, oh seamlessly. Yeah, exactly. Two pound. I'm two two, two pound to tell you something you don't need to know. Go on. You don't need to drink more whiskey. I, I, I like a little single malt. I, yeah, I know. What's um, What's your favourite tipple? Gin. Gin. You're yeah, a gin man. Well, no, lager, obviously. But yeah. Yeah. If we go, uh, no, gin. Um, and in particular, if you want to be specific about it, old Raj. Okay. Can't get it in the shops, got to order it online. About £50 a bottle, greatest gin in the world. There you go. Drink it neat. All right. Fair like enough. malt whiskey. You can do that with Tanqueray 10 as well. It's not really gin. I've... Get, get Tanqueray 10, tumbler, bit of ice, bang, whack it back neat. Just find it's a bit much. What else is in your bag? What's in your bag? Is it just top trunks lunch? now? Yeah, that's it. Uh, there was. No, that was it. Yeah. So yeah. there we go. That's um, that's me in a charity shop. Oh, there was a motorbike book as well. I was thinking if we had more time, what we could do is we could talk people through dream motorcycles. Do you do motorbikes as well? I do, yes. There's some great ones. Uh, uh, that on the front there, what's that there? That'd be an Arley, wouldn't it? Or it's an Arley. Yeah, it is Arley, yeah. Yeah. But at the back here, you got um, classics from like when I was in oh. bikes, like the GSXR Thou. Yeah. And then you'll have like the Ducati 916, Honda SP1. SP1 with a single sweet, a single sided swinging arm. ZX12. First featured on the RC30. So now you're talking. Yeah. That's my all time favourite, MV Augusta F4. Because yeah. it might surprise people that I single do like Single sided swinging arm again. Yeah, single yeah. sided swinging arm, gold wheels, absolutely beautiful. Hayabusa, 200 no. mile an hour bike. Yeah, ugly. RSV Millie. Beautiful. YZFR1. T595 Daytona, and I'm straight back to Mission Impossible 2. Yeah. What a movie. So, uh, next time, when you've got a bit more time, we can spend some time and go through this stuff, because that's what people like on the channel. But, now you've got to jump on your train. How was your Porsche Taycan? Tony's just delivered a Taycan. Right, the brakes were shit. Yeah. Uh, that's number one. Um, goes, like, absolute. This yeah, was they the did, they 567 brake horsepower one. Yeah. Um, 0 to 60 in 3.9. I can confirm it does do it in that. Yeah. Um, but when you've got brakes that are like SpongeBob SquarePants, yeah. it doesn't inspire confidence. Yeah. So by the time I finished with it, I came to the conclusion that driving that Porsche Taycan is just like being in a lap dancing bar. Right. You're surrounded by everything you love and you know you can enjoy in life, <laughs> but you can't. That is a fantastic analogy. 
Yeah. Well, it, see, I have an analogy for lap dancing bars, which is every time I go in them or get dragged in them. Yeah. Oh, I went to one Cheltenham races last year. We went in one on the Tuesday at the festival. I walked in and there's just teenage girls walking around in thongs and bras. Yeah. I have, between us, we have four teenage daughters. No, yeah, that would make it a bit awkward. So, A, it was awkward. B, it was like being in my kitchen. Yeah. And C, one of them came up to me and said, would you like to dance? And I said, I'll give you the same analogy I give everyone else. Yeah. If I go to a Ferrari garage, mm. I want to drive the car. Yeah. You ain't going to let me touch a steering wheel. Mm. That's torture. Well, that is exactly what it was like in yeah. the Taycan because I did about 15 miles in it. Yeah. I used 40 miles of range. Did you really? Granted, I was playing in sport mode. Yeah, but I mean... But, yeah, it started off with 155, finished up with 110, um, and I only did 14 miles because... If you put your foot down, which is what it's designed to do, yeah. it eats the miles up. So it's nothing more than a glorified toy. It's just a rich man's toy. This one was 90 grand. Yeah. It's not a practical car, but it's no fun either because yeah. when you put your foot down, it doesn't make a noise. Yeah. That's no fun. The brakes are spongy. I'd rather have an old 911 every day of the week. So then you'd never you'd never want to put your foot down hard in a Taycan anyway, because if you do do that, then you've got to stop for 45 minutes to charge somewhere. You have, and I've got to get over the other side of that bridge in three minutes. Go. Take your, take Cheers, your, everybody. Take your Formula One car, take your multiplet, and I'll see you next time you're up here. Magic. Cheers. I'll conclude the video for you. <laughs> see you in a bit of time. Are your bags in the back? Bags in the back, coats in the front. Right, next time we'll be more organised and have more time. Right, see you later. Cheers, mate. Always a pleasure. Never a chore. Right, so basically, Tony texted me this morning and was like, I'm going to be in Worcester at one o'clock, but I was at the dentist having my teeth fixed, um, so it wasn't really feasibly practical for us to do anything organised. I drove to the train station to pick... I should have put this on the start of the video, but again, that hasn't really worked. I drove to the train station to pick Tony up and I had a little bit of extra time and I thought, what can we do? I haven't got any retro top trumps to play that. I haven't organised any second-hand cars that we can look at. But what I can do is I can go charity shopping. So that's what I did. I went to the charity shop to buy some fun things because I thought we'd have a bit more time to spend in uh, the car doing cool stuff. The other CD that I bought, if I can find it, it must be somewhere here, is... Um, where's the case for it? There you go. Definitely, maybe. Is that not... That might well be one of the greatest albums of all time. So, I spent £17 in a charity shop. We got a video out of it. And um, next time I see Tony, we will play a more organised game of Top Trumps. Because by that point, all of the retro Top Trumps packs that I've ordered off of the internet will have arrived. So, there we go. A mid-afternoon slightly crazy video from jeff and tony but now i've got to go pick my little boy up from school so i, I guess i'll see you later on for a slightly more organized video with tony hopefully he managed to get his train the closest thing to crazy, crazy i've ever, ever been i was never crazy when i was that on my own oh that works <laughs>